to this one. And what's what's your name? My name is Pastor Nicole Spray. Okay. We've been we left California because the Mexican would not allow my husband to work. This is a Republic service. A Republic service. I was doing this there, one person. And <laughs> They stoned me. Mexican gang stoned me. They tried to kill my husband. So we move up here. Uh, to find we were homeless. Because they refused to give us rent a shelter. I get 1332 from my entitlement retirement for the state of old. My husband was on EDD. We got close to 2000 and no one was friend to us. Sir. They just for up our truck again. They get these cops are giving us tickets and stuff. For what? For thing, okay, the blinkers. We stay at the Cranberry Motel. I cleaned it a black hole. Okay. Every, just two days ago, they came and they first they tore out the blinking lights. Then they took all the belts. All the belts. The blinking lights, I'm sorry. The, the light, here, let me take this off. Uh, the reason I wear this well, is because the police up here, though I went to the city council, first to ask for shelter, then after they said no, uh, I turned around to Mary Beverly, and I said before the city council and the chief police, Rose, now, I will be MLK. I'm not Ferguson. I don't want that kind of mayhem. There's already mayhem here. They all knew, and yet they stopped me continuously. I just got the police report. I'm thinking I already asked the DOJ to come here, but this is ridiculous. What are they stopping you for? Uh, <laughs> or at least what's the pretext of the stop? Okay, they stopped me because they said I was causing a disruption and attacking people. Sir, they threw this rock just now at me. Okay, and then come to find out Pacific Seafood Incorporated, Washington, forever. My husband works. Mind you, he's angry I'm doing this, but I could care less. I'm 64. Our country is falling apart. Totally falling apart. Donald Trump, a university made people take all Donald Trump's vote for Donald uh -huh. Trump. Uh -huh. Yet they didn't do it for Bernie. Sir, we cannot win as a socialist nation, as Greece, as France. All nations in Europe, in fact, it was Muslims. I don't care. Look, you come to our country, you respect our constitution and law. I am Mexican born, my mother's. Mexican born, but the thing is, from there it grew to this. I have Hispanics from Washington grad angry that I'm doing Trump. It's press temporary. Jessica and Bernie, a manager at Washington Crab, took my husband in and told them that he couldn't vote for Trump. Then expressed Jessica, there's much wrong, sir, much wrong. It will not change nothing. So they told him he couldn't vote for Trump? Yeah, they told him not well, to. They said that's, no, it's like telling the University of Elma to, uh, it's okay. Because your feelings are hurt, we're going to take Trump off. You know what I mean? Too much garbage. And even as Trump, when Trump is elected, He's got a hard row, hard row. I heard a woman say that if her baby was stolen by Issa, she and they caught the, the criminal, that she wouldn't waterboard. Baby, I'd be there giving direction to waterboard because that's my baby, my baby, my baby. I am stunned, I am totally stunned by the corruption. And it's not just here, it's not just here. You go to Southern California, the Hispanics and Mexicans, the immigrants control everything from employment to housing. You come up this way. I stayed in Oregon for a month trying to separate. Sir, AG services and the cops are recording the conversations. Sir, they said that I would have to deal 
with what harm they were doing to me. And it was great harm. And again, there I was protesting. And I'm not protesting because that's not the right word. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you know, yeah. let me tell you, sir. Let me tell you. I'm older than Sue. I've, I've lived all over the United States. It's like this everywhere. Uh, at, at Ocean. Uh, at Washington Crab, my husband came out with a green robe that they used as a hanging noose. And then Keith asked a black boy, Is it all right about calling you my little man? No, not once, but twice. Not once, but twice. They finally got rid of the rope. I made, told my husband, You fix that table, you bring me the rope. I started to pro. I thought, uh, Am okay. White supremacist Rob told Orwell to come and yap the rope on my hand, and he did. Uh, yet it was the cops that told me I needed mental health. No, they sell drugs, they pollute. I have fun. They pollute this beautiful community, and no one cares about Westport. No one. Oh, and it's like, I hope there's someone. Well, there are people that do. I mean, there are people that do. Sir, just two days ago, a phone came out of the DAP area. It's uh, where they the city and everybody, the dirty water, and it's got chemicals. It was like this. They party there at night. You know, so this is not a job. And just because they make billions, there is no responsibility to the community or fair play and win win. Oh my God, they're telling you not to do that. No. No, no, I, no, no, that's okay. Sir, let me explain this Washington Cup states its responsibilities to the community. What I have witnessed in six months, it's criminal. They continue to hire illegals, they stopped it. And then the illegals are angry. They followed me to my home. A lot, but this is part of it. For there to be changed. We must tell the people that it's causing the wrong what they don't want to hear. They're their problem. Rama says that it's our fault. It's not our fault, sir. How can it be our fault? They broke our constitution. You go to Mexico, they'll arrest you quick. Excuse my grandma's here. Uh, no, white America does not want to know that. It's what has made it for you. Corporations of this kind have made it for you. Police stations of this kind have made it for you. Sir, nothing will change what they're doing to Trump right now. And why is the establishment angry with Tom? Think about it. If someone is angry with you, it's either for a good thing or a bad thing. Either you're wrong or you're right. It's not complicated. It's like God. It's not complicated. It's the word. Suffice. This is pandemic everywhere, sir. Everywhere. And it's not going to change. There is no religion for God <laughs> to find what is good and what is bad. If you hurt someone, that is bad. It, it, it just cannot be changed. What I'm doing will change nothing. But it may move one thought. I protest, protested in, in Los Angeles. I could not even. They carried me, San Diego carried me. I had the Secret Service follow me to be here. I was well. They had a, med a doctor with uh, sugar for me. That's what we got to do. White America's got to get together. And our children are so ignorant. Sir, we need to get ready. We need to fire the Board of Education. We need the money to come to the city, the town, not the state. Because Governor Easley has proven proven that he is incapable of understanding the harm. These children are dumb. They lower the GED because no one says, hey, go to Sunday school. Sir, I know nothing will change because it's at the seed. Parents talk to children. You can have something for nothing. Here's a trophy. You're a good guy. No. You want to live in wage? Do what I did. I retired from the state of old. I work for IBM. I, I, sir, there are temporary jobs that help you get your school up. 
I heard, I heard a black woman say that Hillary Rodden Clinton was going to do for people with jobs by updating their resumes. That's not smart. And Rodeo Drive, I heard a, a man say, well, I'm Democrat, I'm going to vote for Hillary. Excuse me, Hillary is untrustworthy. Yet to say Donald Trump is untrustworthy. His experience will create jobs. Congress, what is their rating? What is their rating? You know, what we expect of Trump, we never expected of Obama. Obama. I, I voted for him twice. I politicked him twice. I made him a husband. And I could take the ball. He lied. He lied. He's frivolous when we are attacked. Brussels were where the Americans were. You know? They're here, sir. They're in Oregon. They're here. They're nothing to say until the war. We're already at war. And they're going to turn off the light. Can you imagine a police force like this with ego and no home training? Trying to protect everyone and then the people. Where I live in Cranberry, they have condoms. Outside. Yet, Mr. V turns off my Wi Fi because he's angry, as the police are, for what I'm saying. Sir, I'm saying I'm not doing nothing to no one. Nothing. Uh, no, sir. It's, it is. You, all you have to do is look around. What do you see? Children. Killing their parents. Children stealing from their parents. My mama was a hickory. You know, and we were a poor family. We lived on the wrong side of the track. But we, we had eight kids, but we were in love. We were happy. My father was a shrimper. He died a shrimper. That is not now. No one wants more than what is given to them. Right now, because what Hillary said, there's more, there's many more coming. What are we going to do with them? We cannot spend trillions of dollars and expect, when you're not paying nothing down, to have our grandchildren pay for it. You know, we cannot spend it. I'm just doing a microgram in time to move the car. And they stoned me as the cops harassed me. You know, and then I had that guy from the third side. He was drinking. I just walked up. I was trying to make it to the cross. But I'm old and I'm tired. I need exercise. <laughs> Thank God they messed with the truck. I'm walking. But the thing is, nothing. It's going to get better in my group, and, and I promise, whites will segregate, blacks will segregate. Sir, the Rodney King Rodney. Oh, the Rod's Pride, San Francisco Pike. Sir, we're not prepared. And what we have as a police force is not prepared because they're, they're doing frivolous stuff. Right there at Dock Street, Sir, I've seen them peddle not only flesh, but drugs. My husband is a recovering drug addict for 30 years. They gave him, because I took control of everything, they gave him crystal meth. Damon there is hooked on crystal meth. As they party at night, the dap goes and blows and poisons the entire community. And it's like, nobody cares. When I took pictures of that yesterday, sir, I did nothing, and yet I'm persecuted. And I'm not going to stop. I didn't stop when the gangs in Los Angeles were trying to kill me, and the police said, get off the street. I didn't stop when they did it in Portland. And I'm not going to stop. I love Westport. It's Palacios, Texas. This is a beautiful community. And it's it's invented. Well, I gotta go. Okay, God bless you. Excuse my hands.